Love, life, and murder. A man created a monster that killed his whole family. This is Frontline, the life and loss of the Frankenstein family. Frontline is made possible by contributions to your PBS station from viewers like you. Thank you. With major funding from the John D. and Catherine T. MacArthur Foundation, helping to build a more just world. And additional funding from the Park Foundation, committed to raising public awareness. With additional funding for this program from the Corporation for Public Broadcasting. Victor Frankenstein was a bright young scientist. His life had nowhere to go but up until he bit off a little more than he could chew and choked to death on his own hubris. This video diary found in his lab documents what was to become his final experiment. October 12, 2013. The final steps towards my experiment have been taken. I've collected the most ideal human remains after browsing the obituaries over the last year. Mere moments remain before I construct a modern Prometheus, a medical god of perfection. These fine specimens have been sewn together, and my assistant Igor and I await the battery to achieve full charge in order to reanimate the corpses. Frankenstein know this creature would alter the course of his and his loved one's life forever, existing as a plague on the Frankenstein name that would never be eliminated. No, no, no. Master said to stay in his cage. Master, oh, 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 oh. Frankenstein, troubled by his own creation, drinks heavily and gets in bed, not knowing of the murder his beast had already committed just minutes before. At approximately 2 a.m., the monster enters the doctor's chamber. Victor continues to sleep, unaware of his nighttime intrusion. <laughs>
The monster leaves the den of the, his creator and begins an odyssey of terror and slaughter that can only be described as fate. At the limits of the city, in the boonies, Frankenstein has come across a small girl playing. Unbeknownst to the monster, this child is Frankenstein's niece, Teresa, and her father, Frankenstein's brother, is hunting nearby. Uh, hi! Hey, friend! Hey, sit down! You wanna play some games? Hey, sit down, sit down! Hi! Hi! Uh, do you want some flowers? Uh, do you wanna play hide and go seek? Uh, friends? What? Flowers? You want what? You better watch out, mister! My daddy's hunting in these woods! Frankenstein! That's my name! <laughs> 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 That's my daughter's dress! What the fuck did you do to my daughter? Frankenstein! You killed my daughter! Fuck you! <laughs> Frankenstein! Meanwhile, back at the Frankenstein house, Victor awakes to find his partner dead and the monster gone. He does not mourn Igor's death. He finds only relief in the absence of his creation. Perhaps he thinks some problems do solve themselves. For the young scientist, his life returns to normal. In his happiness, he finally proposes to his longtime cousin and lover, Elizabeth. But his relief would not last long. Hello? Oh, hi, Dad. What? William's been murdered? And his daughter too? Oh no, that can't be true. Okay, I'll meet you there. Well, this is it, Victor. Kill off my entire bloodline. And the chance of my only son. And even if you were to have a grandson with that cousin bride of yours, no 11 toed ancestral grandson is any son of mine. But I'm sorry. You have to leave me. But, but Dad, leave. Now. You have not completed my task. I'm going to take away everything you've loved. I'll kill your father. I'll kill that cousin fiance of yours. Everything dead. You're going to have nothing left, Victor. Freak. I hoped I'd never see you again. I'll be with you on your wedding day, Victor. Victor Frankenstein has been disowned and his very happiness has been threatened. 
how will the story of Victor Frankenstein and his creation end? Up next on Frontline, after these brief messages. Head on. Apply directly to the forehead. Head on. Apply directly to the forehead. Head on. Apply directly to the forehead. Head on is available without a prescription at retailers nationwide. It's Kids Bop 30 with some of today's hottest songs, sung by kids for kids. Give me, give me, I'm worth it. Yeah, I'm worth it. Oh, I think that I found myself a cheerleader. Bang in the drum like I'm the DJ. I like the dancing rhythm you play. Now we got that. Kids Bop 30, available now. Yes, that's French they're speaking. And no, these children aren't French. They're American. And they've acquired their amazing new language skills from Muzzy, the remarkable new video language program for children developed by the British Broadcasting Corporation. With this unique BBC language course, children learn a second language with incredible ease. Four delightful videos quickly become their favorite TV show and teaches children the same way they learned English. Learning another language becomes fun. You'll be amazed when your children begin speaking and understanding their new language from the very first day through this unique method. The entire course, four videos, two audio cassettes, the activity book, and the parents' guide and answer book is available in French, Spanish, Italian, or German. To order, use your credit card and call this number. We'll ship and charge you $2,808 a month for six months. Your satisfaction is guaranteed. Call 1-800-424-0700. And we're back on Frontline. Victor Frankenstein must create another being, a companion for his monster, or his life will be destroyed. It's the evening, November 12th, 2013, and Victor has two days left. What will he do? Find out now on Frontline. Where are you headed? North, just north. 
What, what you got waiting up there for you? My son. Better hope the cold doesn't kill him like it almost killed you. You're right. I want to save that pleasure for myself. Pull over. What? Pull over, I'm going to vomit in your truck. Okay. Victor Frankenstein was a bright young scientist and male model. <laughs> what? Male model. Yeah. <laughs> Just get, get rid of that part. Got. I completely forgot. But, uh, well, I until you get off the I've heard. Victor Frankenstein has been disowned and his very happiness has been threatened. How will the story of Victor Frankenstein and his monster play out? We will return to NBC Frontline. Up next. All right, one more time, and then we'll just edit everything together. No matter what happens, just keep going. All right. Okay. You'd think it'd be easy. It's three lines. Yeah. All right. What I'm going to do... Hey, Kate! She pressed the button for me. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to say... Well, that's irritating. So I'm going to do is I'm going to... Um... Master, master, are you okay? Yes, Eagle, shut the <laughs> up and look! <laughs> that didn't work. <laughs> do it again. Wait, uh, it started over, I pushed my glasses out, that was my bad. Let me, uh, let me tell you, alright, we are recording. Master, master, you okay? Get the hell off me, you go! Look! The front, this thing, the front thing is way in your face. It was, it was like, it was literally like right here. Pistol, I'm gonna grab it. <laughs> it's on the ground over there. Why do you need a pistol? Because I pretty much tell him he's nasty, I'm going home, shoot him. <laughs> <laughs> Can I shoot the <laughs> No, get the pistol. No, I'm gonna pull that out of the back. <laughs> like Red Dead Redemption. <laughs> <laughs> already, already, we're just like... We're getting... <laughs> it's going down to real quick. No, it's, I mean... Go... Stop! <laughs> actually hurts, dude. I believe it. <laughs> My... Doctor, doctor! What are you This is hilarious. I, I sure I look like a f***ing <laughs> seizure. <laughs> Alright, and then now I get up.
<laughs> so frustrating. <laughs> <laughs> My name's Caleb Gordon and I have not kissed a girl in over a year. Maybe maybe two. <laughs> Smile, you're on camera. <laughs> 1869. <laughs> Stop. Ow. We're just trying to get it so. Ah! Needles! <laughs> My goodness. <laughs> what did you eat? I just got my hand in that one, I'm sorry. Guess. Hey, do we do it? Enough, baby. That's really gross, man. Uh, I paid 75 cents for this cream gravy. It's not free, as it turns out. Which is ridiculous. I thought we were ridiculous. Like, some more oil. I've watched the steam. Paid for like a few times. I've got that. You should be. You should be cool. Blow that. Hahaha. Hahaha. All right. Let's get the show on the road. Yeah. Can we get? Yeah. Just go. Go. Please, please. It looks. Like All right. This is it, Victor. Get off my entire bloodline. Oh my God. Yeah, that was perfect. It just. Press the tar out of me. And, and you just. Security deal. Yeah. Oh, no, no, you just follow me with the camera, alright? While I'm walking over there, alright? Just walk behind me. You good with that? Yeah. And we'll see, just. And then I'll uh, enter the bathroom and then slam the door and then on the camera, alright? Alright. You ready? Okay, I'll, I guess I'll. Uh... What are you doing? What was it, four times? Yep. Yep. Now, recoil. <laughs> oh, that didn't hurt at all. That's perfect. Oh, my ears. I didn't time that at all. It's all good. I that, just tried let's, to get let's... it. Just <laughs> 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 working again. Oh, hold on. Hold on. <laughs> 
Okay. Uh,